Hi church family. So this Sunday is Pentecost, the day when the Holy Spirit descends upon the disciples and arrives just as Jesus promised the disciples he would. And the Holy Spirit does a whirlwind of transformation. People become believers in Christ by the thousands. The apostles are empowered to preach and teach in a way that people instantly come to believe in Jesus Christ. The community is very strong. They are so transformed by the Holy Spirit that they make sure no one in the community is in wanting, to the point where they even sell their possessions to make sure everyone has what they need. They break bread and have fellowship and worship in each other's homes. They spend some time at the temple, not necessarily for worship, but since the temple was a public space, a gathering for public spaces in that day, that's where they met up to just be together, to fellowship with one another. You could say then that the early church was a church without a building. The Holy Spirit doesn't need a church to be at work. The Holy Spirit does need people. And I've been so thankful for how you have continued to allow the Holy Spirit to work through you and how you have prayed and supported one another and reached out to your neighbors and the wider community. You could say that while our doors are closed, First Presbyterian Church remains open. So my prayer for you, for me, and for all of us is that we continue to be surprised by how the Holy Spirit works through us and around us. Even in the midst of us not being able to worship together in person, and even in the midst, yes, even in the midst of a pandemic. So pay attention, friends, for how the Holy Spirit is still at work in you and through you. And I can't wait to see you in person soon.